I was just thinking about something really cool that happened about 10 years ago. So you've probably heard of Dr. Oz, right? Super famous. I think he started on the Oprah Winfrey show and he did like 60 shows with her and then ended up spinning up his own show, which everyone's heard of, right? And he loves to talk about medicine and science. And um, so I guess about 10 years ago, he was doing a show and he wanted to focus on fruits and vegetables and how we don't eat enough and how good they are for you. And he had an expert on the show with him, Dr. Lee, I think was his name. Joining me is one of my all-time favorite guests, cancer prevention pioneer, Dr. William Lee. Dr. Lee, thank you very much for joining us as always. Who was an expert in plant phytochemicals. Right, so he was talking about polyphenols and carotenoids and all these things that were in plants that were good for you. And he talked about antioxidants. So, um, I'm getting ahead of myself. Before the show happened, uh, we got a call because we, uh, I was at New Skin, and we had this device called the Biophotonic Scanner, which was an amazing breakthrough technology that used light, Raman spectroscopy, to measure carotenoids in skin. So let me start there. If you eat a fruit or a vegetable, let's say you eat a tomato. Tomato's got, you know, it's red because it's got a red carotenoid in it called lycopene. And if you eat the tomato, then that carotenoid lycopene gets absorbed into your skin and into all of the, the cell membranes of your body and uh, has all sorts of protective and helpful effects. Um, can even sort of help with your skin appearance, etc. right? Um, so that's the red carotenoid called lycopene. If you eat a carrot, the carrot is orange because of the carotenoid called beta carotene and there's some alpha carotene in there. Another carotenoid, same kind of basic chemical structure. And even the green leafy fruits and vegetables um, even though they look green because of chlorophyll, actually are full of all sorts of carotenoids like um, lutein, a yellow one. It's all hidden, it's all masked by the green from the chlorophyll. So if you eat a diet rich in fruits and vegetables, you're getting all sorts of goodies and carotenoids are some of them. And it turns out that a particular type of light spectrophotometry, um, a narrow band with the blue light, can actually interact with any of these carotenoids and shine back in uh, the green and give you a signal that tells you how many carotenoids are in the skin. So this amazing technology from this biophotonic scanner is really a first time that we're able to measure how many fruits and vegetables you're eating. So this is great because what we want to be able to do is motivate people to eat more fruits and vegetables to be more healthy. And we're always getting recommendations. And like Dr. Oz said, you should be eating nine servings of fruits and vegetables a day. So how many are we eating? And so um, Dr. Oz show reaches out to us and uh, so I had to go to New York to meet with his research assistants. And they wanted to know, is this technology legitimate? So I came in, I remember having a stack of papers, like scientific research papers, and plonked them on the desk. And there were, I think, three research assistants there, fairly young. And uh, they were kind of blown away by the stack. And I'm like, well, don't you want to read them? <laughs> like, you know, this is evidence, but, you know, look at this paper here. This one shows, you know, Raman spectroscopy for X. And here's another paper that they did, you know, 60 people in this study or 1,300 people in this study. And so um, the conversation wasn't all that long. They said, great, thank you. We'll take that. And Dr. Oz will look at it and we'll call you back if we think it's legit and if we can use you in the show. And so we did get a call back. I think it was sort of around May 2011 or something. So 10 years ago. And they said, yep, we want you to come on the show. We want you to you know, bring the scanner. And uh, at that point then, um, I actually had a pre-meeting with his production staff. I said, how do you want this to go? So I'm kind of giving you the backstory here because I think it's really fun, the backstory. You can, you can look on YouTube for this show. But uh, the backstory is really interesting. So uh, I said, well, how do you want it to go? Um, let me, and, and they had some ideas and I said, hey, I've got an idea. Look, when you scan, you get a color based on how good you score. So if you really don't eat a lot of fruits and vegetables or you know, if you smoke or if you have a poor lifestyle, you're probably gonna score in the red. And if you're a little better, you're in the yellow. And if you're really good, you're gonna be blue or green or you know, one of those other colors. This is, this is how it's supposed to be read out, by the way. We've got lowest to highest, 10,000 up to 50,000 units, right? Or, or, or these figures give us a rough idea. You wanna be up here in the blues. Now, let's see how you did. Are you ready? So why don't we scan everyone that's coming into your show before they come in to the set and we will bring t-shirts I think at first I thought a sticker, but then I thought, no, a t-shirt would be better. Everyone's gonna wear a t-shirt that represents the color of their scan. On their sleeve, they all wear different color t-shirts. 
Before the show, we give everyone the ultimate nutritional lie detector test. This revolutionary device, it's lying right here next to me, measures the level of carotenoids in your skin, which can help indicate the overall antioxidant health in your body. And they said, oh yeah, that, that could probably work. Okay, let's do that. So uh, the day comes, we brought, you know, we got a bu whole bunch of scanners ready. I think we had 10 scanners because there's quite a few people that go on the show. And uh, we brought a whole bunch of staff and we were scanning people. There was this big line and as they got their score, we put on their t-shirts. I do recall there were a lot of people from Wisconsin. And uh, judging from their scores, I don't think that cheese has a lot of carotenoids. Um, anyway, so they all ended up on the set. And so, if you go to the YouTube and you see, you know, Dr. Oz, Pharmanex Scan or whatever, you will see, uh, for the first time that I know of, everyone in the audience has got a t-shirt on. And what color do you think they mostly were? Mostly red and a bunch of yellows and I think just a couple of blues and greens. So really indicative. So Dr. Oz gets out there and he's with Dr. Lee and they're talking about fruits and vegetables and how we should eat more. And then he started talking about the audience, like all the colors that are there. So he invited one by one audience members to come up and to um, basically uh, talk about their score and also talk a little bit about some of the fruits and vegetables that he had, that he was sort of on display. And uh, um, it was really interesting. I remember one lady that came up and she was red, uh, red t-shirt. And she was kind of annoyed that she had a red t-shirt. And some members of her family had like yellow and green. She says, I eat just as well as those guys do. I don't know why I'm red. And so Dr. Oz talked about eating more fruits and vegetables. And then he said, so, and she says, well, I do all that. I do all that every day. You know, why am I red? And, and he said, well, I don't know. Why do you think you're red? And she says, I really think it was a faulty test. Yeah, but you know. There was this reaction from the audience. There's like a couple of boos and people like, what? Oh, she's crossed the line. Why, I, 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 can I tell you why you're red? And he said, well, I perceive something about you. What could it possibly be? <laughs> Probably. Either, either I'll out you or you'll out you. And she said, all right. Okay. I smoke. She smokes. I do. <laughs> you do smoke, and I love you for who you are, and I'm not giving you a hard time about it right now. But smoking is, you know, a number one reason why you have the low score because, you know, it kills carotenoids. There's all sorts of free radicals in the cigarette smoke. So that was kind of fun uh, because, you know, I was watching all this from the green room with some of the other Pharmanex staff that had helped sort of the initial thing. Here's another thing, total nail biter when we were in the green room. So before the show, we said, well, um, Dr. Oz is gonna get scanned, right? And his staff said, yep, he's gonna get scanned but he's gonna do it live on the show. And we're like, whoa, no, wait, high risk situation. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Well, there's a lot of people that think that they eat really well, like that lady that I just talked about. And when they end up getting scored, they're like, what? Why am I in the red, right? And then you sort of have to go through and explain it to them. And I said, I'm afraid that maybe Dr. Oz is not gonna have the high score that he thinks he's gonna have. And they said, no. Nope. He is the healthiest man I know. He eats all sorts of fruits and vegetables every day. He walks the walk. He just doesn't talk the talk. There's no doubt that he'll have a high score. And we're like, I don't know, can, can we talk you out of this? And they said, no, he's gonna do it live on the show. He's gonna scan on the set. And we'd actually set up the scanner ahead of time and we were like really nervous about a lot of things like, is the computer gonna go into sleep mode? Is he gonna move his hand halfway through the scan? Because it's all live. And, uh, and finally, is he gonna have a really bad score and it's gonna to be totally embarrassing. Anyway, after sort of talking to all these other people and talking to them about their scores, he finally says, well, you know, I'm gonna get scanned now, right now on TV. So Dr. Lin, you talk about something while I get scanned. Greater levels of antioxidants. And the reason is because antioxidants also protect plants. And when plants are grown organically, that's without pesticides or chemicals or antibiotics, they actually have to produce more antioxidants to protect themselves. And when we eat them, we get the benefits too. And he put his hand in front of the scan and we were totally, we could see it in the green room. We are watching it on the screen, just totally biting our nails. And then, oh, before I tell you what his score was. Um, so when he was, we had a bar graph of all of the scores in the audience. Let's see the numbers for the audience. Nearly 40% of the audience were in the red, the lowest score possible. You're all down here. And the next 40% were in the yellow. We have almost 40% of the audience in the lowest category possible. I actually didn't think we'd find anybody there. 
So we're talking 80% of the audience were in kind of a really low score area. Another 40% had the orange category, which is still to me a dangerously low level. Can I tell you something? You're America. You're a cross section, everyone watching the show right now. Let me just go through these because it completely blew my mind. And there are only like 6% of the audience that are actually in the blue or the healthy blue green area. And we only had a total of about 6% ha having greens and blues. Put your hands up if you're greens and blues. Let me just see you. Like, yeah, I mean, there are a couple folks, but you know, it's not many. Congratulations, by the way. You know, this was kind of the audience. And now it's his turn and he takes his hand off the scanner and the score comes up and it is... Uh-oh. 75,000. Everyone's cheering and he was kind of, he actually looked a little bit embarrassed like, I didn't do this to show off. Yes. Now, listen. No, no, no. I, I honest to goodness did not do that to show off. Although I know it sounds like that. But, you know, this really does prove that, uh, you know, we should be eating more fruits and vegetables. And um, so I just thought that was a, a really fun story. You can even, I think that there are lots of uh, copies of this on YouTube if you go and sort of search for the Pharmanex Scanner and the Dr. Oz Show. But that's the backstory that you won't get. That's the guys that were biting their nails in the green room. Um, it's Dr. Oz scanning live. Um, I just thought it was a brilliant way to, um, to really help people appreciate that you need to eat lots of these fruits and vegetables um, every day. And you've seen some of my juicing videos and things like that. Um, if you get an opportunity, try using the Pharmanex scanner to see how you're scoring.